everyone and welcome to Akina Attack Series 3 Mega Stage. I am your host Retro Kaiser and today's battle is set to be quite interesting. We have three great teams going up against each other on Mount Akina and the format is quite simple. The contestants will be racing uphill on Mount Akina and whichever team finishes first is going to be the winner. Also bear in mind, although the contestants are teammates, there will still be lots of competition amongst themselves to see which one of them can finish first. So without further ado, let's go and meet our participants. start by the R35 racing all the way to the front man that was one heck of a hardcore start coming up on the first turn we see the Nissan team all the way in three positions ahead followed by team Toyota and there followed by team Honda that looks like the S2000 and Civic are having a tough time keeping up an inside view on how team Nissan driver number two Ryuji Nakamura is driving the R35 at first position not giving his fellow teammate Keiichi Ryo behind him any chance to overtake him in the R34. And as we can see team Nissan driver number one Keiichi Ryo is having quite a tough time keeping up with Ryuji in the R35 ahead of him. The battle for the first position keeps on getting harder and harder at this point. As we can see, KTO pushing to the max. Team Nissan going in strong from 1 to 3, followed by Toyota in 4th and 5th position, with Honda at 6th position in the entire race. Ike Takahashi trying very hard to catch up to Nick Patterson in the S15, followed by Takeshi Matsuda in the Toyota Supra. You can tell this race is hard because the drivers are not giving any chances and the Supra going into the guardrails, I don't know what he was thinking over there but whatever it was will cost him a bit of time. As we can see the S15 still going hard followed by the Toyotas. Team Nissan driver number 3 Nick Patterson holding a great in the S15 powered by the RB26 as he is not budging from the 3rd position which Ike Takahashi in the GT86 is trying to get so much. I mean look at him, the S15 is being absolutely perfectly driven by Nick Patterson in this race. Team Toyota driver number one Takeshi Matsuda in the Toyota Supra is sticking right behind teammate Ike Takahashi in the GT86. He is not giving his teammate any chance. Oh, and what do we have here? An accident. Nick Patterson has crashed the S15 into the guardrails. A quick view at the crash replay here. We see Nick Patterson coming up fast, slamming into the guardrail, totaling the S15, causing a massive stoppage behind him. And it looks like Nick Patterson and Takeshi Matsuda will be retiring from the race as they are not able to drive. It seems that the S15 crash has evened out the playground as Toyota takes 3rd place and Team Honda takes 4th place. And what a development we have over here, Keiichi Ryu in the R34 takes over Ryuji in the R35 for the first position and boy oh boy these teammates are battling it out as we can see as they are fiercely racing against each other. Let's take a quick look at the overtake replay and as you can see Keiichi Ryu overtaking Ryuji by a very good inside overtake which was absolutely clean. Now Ryuji stands at second, Keiichi Ryu at first. R34 and R35 are battling really hard as their gap increases and leaves everyone else behind while they battle amongst each other for the first position in the race. Now let's see here real quick the gap between all the cars. As Team Nissan leads on, Team Toyota at third place is 
Well, they are going to stay at third place as it seems as the gap is very, very huge between Team Nissan and Toyota. As we can see, the GT86 followed by the FK8 Civic, followed by the Yaris, the EK9 and the S2000. The battle for third place has also become quite intense as we see Ito Satoshi in the FK8 giving Ike Takahashi in the GT86 not a single bit of rest as he is sticking to the back end of the GT86 in hopes of overtaking the Toyota for the third position for Team Honda. Ryan Stone in the Toyota Yaris surprisingly ahead of Kyle Stevenson in the much more powerful Civic EK9 which apparently makes 500 horsepower. This is a very big initial D moment right here as we can see the less powerful Yaris giving a Civic a run for its money and as we can see the GT86 ahead of the FK8 still those two are battling and the trio back here are also having a battle of their own. Ryuji Nakamura in the R35 desperately trying to regain the first position he lost to fellow teammate Keiichi Hirio in the R34 and as we can see he is trying very hard as he's scraping the R35 all over the place in attempts to overtake his fellow teammate. The window for Ryuji to make a move is closing rapidly as these two are inching closer towards the end. Keichirio, however, does not look like he wants to give up the first position here in the R34 as he is pushing the vehicle to the max over here by drifting and power sliding all the way. Keichirio truly displaying his driving skills today here at this race with the R34 as the R35 is still eating the dust that R34 is leaving behind and the final few corners are being attacked by these two very good drivers. Keichirio getting outside, Ryuji almost getting the chance but couldn't take it, wasn't fast enough. And these guys are pushing real hard towards the end, the final long stretch before the final turn. And we can hear the others catching up as well. Keichirio still in first, Ryuji's close but still couldn't overtake. And at the final moment, Keichirio with first, Ryuji with second, Team Nissan wins and they're being followed by the GT86 and FK8 for third and fourth. FK8 still trying very hard to overtake but still not being able to overtake. The GT86 still holding its own ground and the GT86 finishes with third position and the FK8 with fourth. Ryan Stone in the Yaris followed by Kyle Stevenson in the EK9, fifth, sixth and the S2000 and seventh. What a race that was with Team Nissan taking away the win with the R34. The very heated battle between the R35 and 34 was great to watch and the GT86 from Team Toyota securing third place after the horrific crash of the S15 which caused not only the S15 to be out of commission but the Toyota Super to stop as well. However, the race result was quite good and it was apparent that the driver with more skill won this one because at the end the R34 and 35 battle was clearly of skill and Ryuji in the R35 clearly was not enough to beat fellow teammate Keichirio. So that is the result of the race everyone. Thank you very much for watching this race and please do consider subscribing and liking the video if you enjoyed this. More content will be coming so thank you very much. This is Retro Kaiser signing off and I will see you guys in the next video.